In this video we are going to deliberate on diabetes, types of diabetes, how diabetes affects blood sugar and its possible health complications. Diabetes is an illness thousands struggles with. I know we all have an idea of what it means to be diabetic, but I would like to start by defining it. Diabetes also known as diabetes mellitus is a group of diseases that result in too much sugar in the blood, in bracket, high blood glucose. How can one know when they have diabetes? When you have diabetes your body doesn't make enough insulin, or it can't use the insulin it makes. What's insulin? Insulin is a hormone which helps sugar enter the cells to be used as energy, and without insulin, too much sugar collects in your blood. There are three known types of diabetes. Type 1, Type 2, and Gestational Diabetes. But before we proceed any further, let's understand what prediabetes is, and how it affects your blood sugar. Prediabetes is when blood sugar levels are higher than normal. Many people with prediabetes will have type 2 diabetes within 10 years. More than 1 in 3 US adults have prediabetes. And most of them don't know the risks they face. Prediabetes often happens before type 2 diabetes. Prediabetes also raises the risk for heart disease and stroke. You can delay type 2 diabetes, or even prevent it. You can do this by making lifestyle changes. These include losing extra weight if you are overweight, and getting more exercise. If you are overweight, losing 5% to 7% of your weight can help. Aim for at least 150 minutes a week of physical activity. Now let's look at how diabetes affects the blood sugar. Normally, your pancreas makes insulin, and insulin is needed for glucose to move into the body's cells for energy. When you have diabetes, your pancreas makes little or no insulin, or your body's cells don't respond to the insulin that's made. This causes sugar to build up in the blood. But your body's cells need sugar, and without it they don't have enough fuel to work as they should. The three main types of diabetes all leads to a buildup of blood sugar. This happens because of problems with insulin. But each type has a different cause and treatment. Type 1 Diabetes Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease. The body's immune system destroys the cells in the pancreas that make insulin. This means your body makes little or no insulin. People with type 1 diabetes must take insulin every day to live. About 1 in 20 people with diabetes have type 1. Type 2 diabetes happens when the body can't make enough insulin, or the body can't use it makes correctly. Type 2 may be controlled with diet, exercise, and weight loss. It can also be controlled with medicine taken by mouth, or with insulin injections. About 9 in 10 to 19 in 20 people with diabetes have type 2. Gestational diabetes will be classified as type 3. This type happens during pregnancy. It affects women who did not have diabetes before they got pregnant. They can't use the insulin their body makes. This type of diabetes often goes away after the baby is born. If it doesn't, it likely was not gestational diabetes. It was more likely type 1 or type 2 diabetes that began during pregnancy. Gestational diabetes may be controlled with diet and exercise, and by watching weight gain. Women with this type may need to take medicines to control blood sugar. They may be at higher risk for type 2 later in life. Known complications of diabetes include eye problems, blindness, heart disease, stroke, nervous system problems, loss of a limb, kidney disease, impotence. Except for gestational diabetes, diabetes is an ongoing chronic disease that can't be cured. It affects nearly every part of the body. It can lead to other serious diseases, and it can be life-threatening. You must work with a healthcare provider to manage your diabetes. With the correct care, you can prevent the serious problems of the disease or stop them from getting worse. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more amazing and informative videos. Peace and love.